Hey folks, this is uh, video number five, and my um, name is Todd Dowell, and I know you've probably seen me in two other videos wearing this shirt. I swear I didn't plan this, but uh, what I decided to do is <laughs> I recorded three videos uh, in the same day, so that's why you see me in the in this same shirt. But anyways, uh, video number five, what I'm going to share with you in this video is how to set up your collection, how to set up your navigation so that people will navigate to your, uh, through your store in the right way so that they find items easily accessible based on other stores' navigation uh, processes. And then uh, lastly, I'm going to show you how to set up your compliant pages so that you make sure when you send advertisements to your website and um, also individuals who go to your website and shop or, you know, your customers do see your compliant pages that's your refund policy that's your uh, privacy your terms and conditions everything that you need on your store to have uh, to run a proper store and run a brand properly so um, also if you're on if you just arrived on this video there's a four other videos that I've already created in the series at any time you can actually look at those links right below this video and if you want to hop on this training and follow the series completely um, you can go ahead and start your Shopify trial by clicking the link right below this video and I'm um, going ahead and starting up your free trial. In the next video, in the video number six, I'm gonna be sharing with you some very, very important information um, mo that most marketers aren't gonna share with you um, right here on this YouTube channel. So you're gonna to wanna to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the button somewhere on this, uh, somewhere below this video um, so that you won't miss out on any updates. If you're one of those dinosaurs that likes to check their emails every so often, instead of looking at your YouTube notifications, you can go ahead and click the link right below this video as well. That's going to allow you to subscribe onto my email list so I can send you an email notifying you whenever I come out with video number six in this process. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to hop on over to the laptop and I'm going to share with you how to set up your navigation, how to set up your collections for your store, and also your uh, compliant pages. All right, so when it's going to set up the pages that you need uh, to be uh, compliant, uh, it's very, very simple. You're gonna go navigate over to where it says shipping under your settings tab. You're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom. Actually, it's not shipping, I'm sorry, ah, I lied. Let's go to checkout, sorry, checkout. Scroll all the way to the bottom, and you see where it says refund policy. Hit generate sample policy, and what you're going to do is you're going to copy all of the information here on this page. Okay, um, you're going to hit save. You're going to go hit online store. You're going to get go to pages. You're going to go add a page. You're going to put refund policy. You're going to paste the information in here. And you're going to hit save. And you've just created a page on your site. You're going to do the same thing for privacy policy and the same thing for terms and conditions. So I'm going through, going to. Uh, Privacy policy generates, boom, copy all this information here, save, online store, pages, add a page, privacy policy, paste, and save and lastly same thing for terms and conditions oops generate copy boom save online store Pages, add page, uh, 
actually terms of service is called. All right, save. And you're literally done with creating those three pages. Now, in order to have your store uh, much more navigatable, um, you're going to go to navigation, and this is where you're going to select where things go. So on the footer, you're going to go to footer menu, and you want to add these pages that you just created to uh, on on uh, on your footer. So I'm going to type in, and this is going to be refund policy and then I get to select the pages refund policies add same thing with terms and conditions uh, terms and uh, terms of service boom pages terms add same thing with privacy policy Boom, pages, privacy policy, add. Once you get done with that, you're going to hit save. And now all of your compliant pages are at the bottom of every page on your website. Next thing you're going to want to do is um, actually set up collections. So you're going to go to products here, okay, products tab, then you're going to go to collections. And I'm just going to do two different collections here. I'm going to create one for hair products or hair accessories. Okay, hair accessory. And I cannot spell that word for crap. Accessories. Okay, hair accessories. Uh, you can choose an image for that if you want. Uh, I like to go and do something like I'll go to Google and I might find an image there like hair accessory images and I'll just pick I'll just pick an image it doesn't have to be perfect I'll just pick this chick right here. She looks rich. <laughs> All right, save this image here to your computer. Boom, go back here, upload the collection image, open, done. Now, it says product title. I like to do product type equal is equal to blah, blah, blah. If I hit this down arrow, it's going to say, it's going to have me select between the product types. That's why I had you type in the product types whenever you're creating a product. So, boom, hair accessories, done. So, anytime you put anything in the, like, whenever you create a product, I mean, have a, whenever you add a product to your store and use the product type hair accessories um, as your product type, it's going to put that product in that accessory, in that, um, in that collection and so on so I hit save collection all right so we're gonna go back to collection I'm gonna make one more collection so you know you know you get a another understanding of how this works so I'm gonna go and create collection and now this one's gonna be makeup and uh, so I'm going to go to Google again. I need a Im image of makeup uh, accessories or something like that right here. This is a good one. Save images. Boom. Upload images. Boom. Product type, once again, down arrow, makeup, and save collection. So now you have two collections that have been created on your site.
And um, very lastly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to online store, go to themes, and now you can add these themes. You can add this collection or these collections to your theme. So, for example, featured collections, I'd select a boom hair, and then uh, sorry hair on that select boom hit, do another one makeup select done. Hit save up here. and we're done alright so these collections should show up on your website somewhere uh, should be under your catalog but let me go and uh, have a do a test run Let's see if it shows up in the catalog so it it does show up shot by blah 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 uh, let's go back to the theme. It's okay. It's okay if you make mistakes or um, things aren't clear. This is this is the learning process. Feature collections. Uh, Yeah. Home page collection rows. There we go. Hair accessories, select. So that's how they show up. Uh, featured content. Playing around with the home page. Okay, here you go. Home page featured collections. Boom. All right, so I don't want this collection row to show, so I'm gonna say none, and and um, and so I just want these two to show up, and that's they can shot by either makeup or you know these two two different. So, and uh, for some reason I don't see the title down here that might be due to the colors that I chose and if I chose black it would show up so that means body background turn that back to white main menu items let's turn this to black and then text items Let's see turn that to black cart and search fields Let's turn that to black see what happens turn that to white and menu items turn that to white body text turn it to black there we go all right so that's fixed and uh, so now you're you know how to set up your navigation you know how to set up your um, collections for your store and so I look forward to sharing with you in the next video um, you know some more helpful tips on and getting more um, you know defined and setting up your store from this point on so you guys take care and I look forward to speaking to you in the next video